Good morning. Um, Wednesday, 18th of January. New Bitcoin update. I'm <clears throat> uh, I'm a bit in doubt here about the lower time frame. Higher time frames, I have uh, quite some conviction that we uh, gr grind higher in the coming weeks. But the lower time frame is not really clear. Um, we are in yeah this kind of reversal pattern. Uh, often I see this as a reversal pattern because we also have um, quite some bearish divergence every time we make those new highs here uh, here um, it is with bearish divergence and yeah charts are more or less screaming for a correction uh, to the downside it's also what I mentioned earlier in the week with that CME gap around 19,800 um, doesn't mean we go straight down from here. Uh, maybe we, we continue uh, printing those ugly swing failure patterns and, and just fall back in the pattern. Um, in my Elliott wave count, I do have this ending diagonal, um, which is always one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, this one is not that clean, but here again, one, two, three. Uh, could be ended here and uh, coming down, but it's going very slowly and um, that also brings me to the idea that we may be in for a surprise to the upside. If you look at this indicator, it is showing you the spot and perps traders and then you can clearly see that white are the uh, spot traders that only the pair traders future traders are expecting a move to the downside well maybe they are right maybe they are looking at the same charts as me uh, but it might be a sign that um, spot is holding up so well <coughs> another sign um, which I saw was the dollar when I go to the four hour, I was looking for that bounce to the supply zone. It did bounce, uh, just got rejected a little bit below the supply zone, but in my red box for this move. And there's quite a strong rejection. If this continues to the downside, then we indeed may see. Um, well, I mean, if this is going strongly to the downside today, then we may see another surprise from Bitcoin coming up. Um, and that all makes me a bit in doubt what uh, what is going on for the next 24 48 hours and we could continue doing here some more swing failure patterns and then finally sometime coming down uh, the other risk is uh, one big candle and before we know we are 24,000 then this chart I wanted to show you uh, I also posted it on Twitter in silico the um, crayons indicator together with the FSVZO this is showing that this pattern is uh, topping out and ready for a move to the downside you can see here these are reversal signs it's pretty strong and if I look at the last time that happened it was over here in uh, August 21 we bounced uh, we bottomed at uh, around 30,000 we bounced to 42 and then we saw a 12% move down correction and once that was finished Bitcoin went for uh, new all-time highs so yeah uh, I'm, I'm liking this this uh, indicator it is often uh, right in, in trend following situations and, and spotting reversals pretty good and based on this and, and all my other stuff, I'd say charts are screaming for a correction and the CME gap fill. But don't rule out a possible uh, surprise to the upside. And that is going to be hard to catch if that really happens. So if you're not in a position, I think it's wise to stay out for a bit and hope together with me for that correction towards 19,009, 19,008. That's it for today. Way over three minutes. I have to stop. I wish you all a very nice day. See you tomorrow.